Welcome to another episode of Pressure Crisp. My name is Lisa and today we're going to be doing stuffed jalapenos two ways. We're going to bread some and then we're also going to wrap some of them in bacon for those lower carb people out there. Let's just jump right in and get started. So to get started we're going to turn the Ninja Foodi on. We're going to select sear saute. Automatically defaults to high and we're going to hit start. So while the Ninja Foodi is warming up we're going to chop up some bacon. This is one, two, three, four. This is five of the regular types of bacon. And we're just going to take a sharp knife and we're just going to cut it into pieces just like this. So we're done chopping up that bacon. This is coming up to temperature nicely. We're just going to take that bacon and drop it in the Ninja Foodi. And we want to brown this bacon. Just going to use a pair of tongs. You can use a spatula, whatever you want. Just gonna break up these pieces and we're going to completely brown this up. And I'm gonna wash my cutting board and we'll move on to the filling. So what you see in front of you is eight ounces of room temperature cream cheese. Very important that it's room temperature. You can either take it out and leave it out for a few hours or you can pop it in the microwave um, probably anywhere from 10 to 30 seconds depending on your microwave. You do not wanna burn this. It's probably two green onions just to give it a little bit of green and also freshness. I'm also gonna put in a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, quarter teaspoon of salt, and a half a, oh, excuse me, a quarter teaspoon of granulated garlic. We're also going to add, I'm using Colby. You can use whatever cheese you want. This is about a cup of the Colby Jack shredded cheese. I'm opting to use a wooden spoon for this because I find it makes it so much nicer when you're using a wooden spoon. And this is just going to come together nicely. All right, let me go over and take care of this bacon. Still not there yet. It's going to require a few more minutes. Okay, this bacon is done. So what I'm going to do is I just take it up, lean it, put your thing down. You're going to stop the um, Ninja Foodi. Just press the start stop button. We're going to take this out of the bowl and we're going to put it on a paper towel lined plate. Now I'm just going to go over and take care of this bacon. I'm just going to pour it off into a container. Now you can save that bacon fat for uh, future use. Uh, biscuits, eggs, hash browns, um, whatever you want. I am going to put a paper towel oops, into the bowl and we're just going to wipe it out. You can wash this if you want. I'm not going to. Just rinse it out. So it doesn't really burn. We're gonna let that bacon cool and then we'll add it to the filling mixture in a few minutes. Let's move on to the jalapeno peppers. I am opting to use gloves because when I was a kid, I cut up peppers for my mother and then I touched my eyes. Yes, it was truly a nightmare. So, opting to use gloves, you don't have to use gloves, but just don't touch any part of your body that you do not want on fire. Once again, you're gonna take a sharp knife and all we're going to do, we're just going to cut these jalapeno peppers in half. Try to get it as even as you can. It's, you know, it's hard sometimes, like this one has the stem. Once again, just cut the jalapeno in half. Now that we're done cutting them in half, you're going to take a spoon. This is the best, best method that I find. And you're just going to take the seeds out. Now you can leave some of the seeds in if you want more heat. I just want to make sure you can see this. Just take a spoon. Let me go this way. Take a spoon. Oops. And just go up just like that. And just take that insides right out. All right, so that bacon is cool. We're going to go ahead and add it to our cheese mixture. There we go. Looking great. Everything's better with bacon. We're going to stuff these jalapeno peppers. There might be some extra filling, which is fine. You can actually take this filling if you want, put it on a bagel, like toaster bagel, put some of this on top and then brown it in the air crisping basket. It tastes great. And it's a perfect lunch, breakfast, whatever you want. All right, just gonna take some of this filling and we're just gonna put it right in the jalapeno pepper. Whoops. Yes, your fingers are going to get dirty. Once again, you can put gloves on if you want. 
You just want to make sure that cheese mixture gets into the jalapeno boat. We'll call it a jalapeno boat. There you go. I'll show you one more. This one's a large one, so this one will actually be good. So you're just going to take it, put it in, press it in, take a little bit more. Ooh, there's lots of bacon on this one. Oh, look at that. Magnificent. Those peppers are done. Now at this point, what you can do, you can actually pop these in the fridge for like 15, 20 minutes. So the cheese hardens up just a little bit. You can do that. You don't have to, but you can. So let's start our little dredging station here. What you see in front of you is two eggs. We're just going to whisk these up. You can add a little bit of milk if you want. I'm not going to today. So you have your egg. We have a half a cup of flour. We're adding half a teaspoon of garlic. It's a half a teaspoon of granulated garlic. We're adding a half a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Just want to give it a little bit of flavor because we're using plain breadcrumbs as well. You have a half a cup of plain breadcrumbs and I just put in a quarter cup of panko. I like how panko gives it that extra crunch. And use a fork, use your hand, whatever, just mix this all together. Just going to use a little bit of chili powder. Just going to sprinkle some in. Not much, because you don't want to know it's in there. You just want to have that underlying heat. Once again, use your hands, fork, whisk, whatever you have. Okay, so we're going to take one of those jalapeno peppers, stuffed jalapeno peppers. Just going to put it in the flour. All right, shake off the excess. Just watch, make sure the cheese doesn't come out. Going to pop it into the egg. Make sure it's fully coated. Yes, we have a dirty hand, but that's fine. Pop it right into your breadcrumbs. Take your clean hand. And that's it, just like that. Okay, so now it's time to coat these guys. I'm gonna grab a jalapeno, stuffed jalapeno. Just gonna roll it through the flour. Shake off the excess as best you can. Now you want one clean hand, one dirty hand. So I'm gonna designate my left hand, dirty hand or try to, the one that's going into the egg mixture. Now we're just going to pop it right over to the crumbs. We'll take our clean hand, and we're just going to coat this. Oh, it's making a ton of noise. There we go. Then I'm going to go ahead and complete the rest of these. I almost forgot. I did promise you some bacon wrapped jalapenos, so we're going to do the remaining jalapenos and bacon. So you're just going to go ahead and just wrap these jal stuffed jalapeno peppers up with bacon. Just go around and around and around. So there's one. I'll do another one for you. This is just regular bacon. It's not thick cut. And it will stretch a bit because I'm hanging it. And you're just going to wrap it. Just wrap it right around. Oh, try not to drop your jalapeno. There we go. I try to stretch it so it fits up on the top. Look at that. Beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these, and then we're moving on over to the Ninja Foodie. Okay, all these jalapeno peppers are upright. And I, once again, I did want to make mention of something else. You can actually double dip these, double coat them if you wish to. Some of them I did, some of them I didn't, because you are missing some coating in some spots, but that's fine. Just going to flip them over. Just be gentle. There we go. Now I'm just going to take olive oil spray, and I'm just going to spray the bottoms. All right. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put them directly into the Air Crisp basket. Put the basket over here. It's going to pick them up, put them in. You're going to take your crisper basket, put it right in. I have a little bit of each in there. I'm just going to go ahead. I've already squirted them. I forgot to record. And you're just going to spray the breaded ones with some olive oil or your oil of choice. Go ahead and lower the lid. Turn your Ninja Foodi on. We're going to hit Air Crisp up at the 400. We're just going to press start. Automatically defaults to 20 minutes. We're going to check them in 10. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes. There's 10 minutes and 8 seconds. We're just going to go ahead and open the lid. Oh yeah, look at that. 
They are browning up nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and close the lid and I'm gonna check the breaded ones in five minutes. Okay, so we have about four minutes left. I am gonna check on these. Just gonna go ahead and raise the lid. Oh yeah, look at them. Beautiful. These are gorgeous. I'm gonna go ahead and take the breaded ones out. Nice and dark and golden. Beautiful. All right, I'm gonna move these other bacon ones around just a bit. Just a couple more minutes for the bacon ones. Okay, so we're at 19 minutes. Pop the top. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Pull some of these out. So I'm gonna give these a chance to cool and we'll do a taste test. Stuffed jalapeno peppers, two ways. Here's the one wrapped in bacon. Gorgeous, look at that. Here's the one in the breadcrumbs and panko. They both look fabulous. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the one with the breadcrumbs first. So let's just give it a bite. These are so good. You have to make these. They're delicious, cheesy. The jalapeno pepper is cooked. These are wonderful. Now, <clears throat> let's go over to the lower carb ones. It's the jalapenos wrapped in bacon. They crisp up on all over the place, it's nice. Let's do that taste test. Mmm. I don't know which one is my favorite. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more Pressure Crisp videos using the Ninja Foodie. Bon appetito, people.